Hey everyone, this video is to teach you how to register and drop um, classes in the new student portal. So let's go ahead and jump in. It's right under the academics tab, that's for the first option. You can get into registration. Um, it's pretty blank right now, but all we have to do is select the term that we want to register for and we'll have some more stuff pop up. Um, Right here, it tells you about the term, um, how long the term will be. From the, it starts the six, and um, that's the end of the term, as well as the registration period. Um, so when registration will no longer be available for this, um, it looks like it ends July third. Um, all that information is right here, and right below it, you just go ahead and hit register. It'll open up this new window. Um, and give you the availability to look for classes. You can look by course code. Um, this does limit it to just what you need for your degree. So if for whatever reason it's not showing up while you're looking up in required, try elective and type in the course code. Um, if you want to search and look that way to make sure they meet um, the times you need them, um, and things like that. There's a, as you can see, there's quite a few different search um, restrictions you can put to it. As, so for type, if you only want online courses, um, there's levels, uh, the class end time, um, start time, as well as days. Um, so there's, you know, you can really narrow it down. Let's say though you already know the courses you take, you've met your with your advisor or something like that. Um, you can go in here and just put in that course code, you can see I've put in a couple already, um, as well as um, sometimes classes have sections, so you might have to add that too, um, but I'll go ahead and just add PE185 like I have before. Um, let's see, I'm going to do H2 because I'm just going to audit it, and I'll click add. It Give you this little message because I've already taken this class, but I want to take it again, so I'm going to hit yes. I think it's pretty handy. Um, so we'll go ahead and I'll show you down here. Here's your cart. You can see now that I have the yoga in my cart. Um, and you can also see that there's a remove drop when I hover over it. It shows you remove drop. I can remove this from my cart as well as the one I actually have already registered for a class this semester. Um, I could remove that from this area as well. Um, now I, I know these two, I want to add this to my list, so I'm just going to click register drop. And now it takes me to kind of like a confirmation page. And um, I, I haven't signed up for it yet. I have to click this button again. And voila, I have now registered for yoga. Um, if you have any more additional questions or um, you know you're having a hard time getting into the system, uh, you can contact uh, your advisor or you know for login problems, help desk. But um, yeah, if you have any questions, please reach out. Thanks.